the video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today I'm going to be reviewing a foundation and a concealer which is really exciting I know you guys really do love my foundation and concealer reviews especially he's like let me in this boy needs so much attention have you guys ever heard a man count me out like that honestly before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to Tisha Gupta. So thank you so much for your sweet comments girl, I really really do appreciate them and if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button and then let me know when you've done so in the comments below. I definitely need some lip oil. Okay, so as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be uh, reviewing the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation and Concealer. I recently received these and I just literally can't wait to review them because literally you guys have been asking me about this for the longest time since it's come out and it has been out for a bit now but it's still quite a new product so just a bit of um information on it, it is a wait weightless full coverage foundation 40 shades thank you lord i think that's amazing 40 shades definitely has a pass for me like green light thumbs up it has a high performance formula that lasts all day long which we will be testing out today so it's buildable waterproof foundation provides environmental protection control shine for smooth matte finish um it's vegan friendly which is good cruelty free yes yes talc oil fragrance paraben and gluten free guys this just sounds good already okay it is 38 pounds so it's definitely more on the higher rate uh, higher end but i've heard so many good things about this foundation especially about the um, the shade range um and i feel like i've got my exact color and i wanted to be more in daylight um to do this foundation review and let me know if you do prefer me to do foundation reviews in this setting because you can see it more true to color um there's more natural light here i do have one light in front of me um, but it's more natural light like this is my skin color yeah no 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 my cat was literally gonna pee on that box yeah and i caught him on time he's just so lazy this one okay as i was gonna say and um, you do get 35 mil for 38 pounds so you get a little bit more product compared to you know a usual high-end foundation usually you would get like 30 mil for 30 pounds <sighs> i'm out of breath guys i need to catch breath i'm out of shape here's a little close-up of the foundation and i have the shade g70 I was colour match at the Cover FX counter and Liberties. I'm just going to pop a bit of moisturiser on. I'm using my Embryolis Le Creme Concentre. Okay, now the sky wants to annoy me now. I cannot film in peace. You guys know I recently lost my our dog Lily. And ever since she passed away, like, she's been so needy. Like, Sky was definitely really close to Lily. She was always sleeping with her, always playing with her. And they really did love each other. Like, Lily and the, my other cat, the big one that was just here, would always fight. But they still slept together. And they did love each other. But they have, Lily had so much more love for Sky. And since she's left, she's been so needy. Literally been, like, meowing. Howling, but meowing. In front of my door. Every day, just to have my attention. Anyways, I don't know how I went off on a tangent there. Let's just go on the, to the foundation review. I know you guys like it when I get straight to the point. So I'm going to give it a good shake. It's a little warm for me. It's definitely a golden undertone. But when you blend it, it's like a really good match for me. I do feel like I need a lot of product just to cover one cheek. There's definitely not really any scent, which is, to be honest, I'm preferring foundations that have no scent recently. I mean, that is a perfect match for me. I just feel like I need more coverage here. Got this nasty spot here just can't wait till it goes i don't want to break it because when i break spots it just stays that like a massive scar comes along i'm just zooming you guys in so you can properly see 
I mean, that is one side with the foundation and that's without. I think it's definitely evened out my skin tone. Um, the colour is so perfect, like I feel like this is a foundation that, that has my exact skin colour. Like there's literally no line to my neck. I'm really happy with this guys. Hmm. And it's soft. It's a little bit of glow, but I think that's more for that because of the moisturiser. I use a, um, a very like heavy moisturiser. I do feel like I have to use more product than usual to get the coverage I want. But other than that, it blends really seamlessly. I'm going to cover my spot last because I don't want to spread that all over my face. Wow, I'm so impressed by the colour. I didn't even need to put any down my neck. I'm so impressed with that, guys. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Okay. I've only good, got good things to say. But to be honest, um... I do use a lot of product though, but it's it feels lightweight, it's dried down already, um, it's got a slight glow, it's not sticky, no scent, amazing coverage, and the colour is just... Let's move on to the concealer now. I have the concealer right here, this retails for £24, and I actually bought this shade myself because I received a wrong shade, it was too dark for me. I went out and bought N Medium 3, it's got neutral undertones, but I don't know. Sometimes I want some type of like peachiness to colour correct under eyes because it does really help But I also still want it to be a bit warm, but not too warm like not orangey, you know I felt like I would like this colour on the Beauty Bay website. It says it's a weightless long-wearing concealer Crease proof transfer proof formula that smooths effortlessly over the skin Full coverage defends against pollutants and can also be used to contour and highlight the face. There's 24 shades on the um, Beauty Bay website, but on the Cover Effects Instagram, they have 30 inclusive shades in the concealer, but on their website. They have a good variety of brown shades as well with different undertones. As I see like neutral, golden, warm, olive undertones. If you want an olive undertone, the G Medium 2 is really good. Okay, let's just try this concealer, shall we? The Dofa applicator looks definitely unique so i'm just gonna pop this on hmm it's not as light as i thought it would be to be honest okay i'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend that okay i definitely see really good coverage with this I feel like I would have to purchase the shade G Medium 2 to get like that highlight because this is definitely like almost my skin colour shade. A little bit lighter but not as much but that blended so beautifully. Um, the doe foot applicator is really soft as well. I'm just going to set it with some powder. Here is a close up of my skin. This is my eye. guys it looks so good i'm not too sure about the concealer just yet but i just feel like i should have gotten an lighter shade i don't know i'm just gonna base um the concealer on the the formula and how it covers and everything rather than the shade because i usually you guys know i usually go with a much lighter shade than this so yeah i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back all right guys i'm now back and honestly this foundation looks so so nice like i'm obsessed with the foundation um I'm not too sure about the concealer, I mean it did really cover but I wish it was just a bit lighter, I think that's the only thing I have to say but other than that it feels quite nice, it's definitely full coverage, um, I do have to say the foundation definitely oxidised but it's not like really noticeable, it just went even warmer and um, yeah. You probably can't tell on camera, but it did definitely oxidise so keep that in mind but I still am happy with the shade, I just feel because of that. I need a lighter concealer now even more because it just kind of balances everything out. Um, and all the other makeup went super smooth on the foundation. The only thing I'm noticing right now is smile lines starting to come in and I've only had the foundation for like a few minutes. Maybe that's because I put maybe too much of the product around my mouth. Because like I said, I felt like I used quite a lot of product to get the coverage I want. Even though it says it's a full coverage foundation. But it doesn't feel heavy at all. 
I don't feel I don't feel like I have a lot of foundation on. Um, I also have the high performance setting spray, so I might just finish the the, the review with this. I'm just gonna set. Oh, it has this clear thing. So this setting spray says makes your makeup last all day. It keeps makeup in place and looking fresh while defending against environmental stresses. For breathable, long-lasting wear. I feel like they have this strong focus on like pollutants and yeah and things like that, which is good. Because to be honest, when you wear found it, when you go um, wipe your face with toner at the end of the day, even after washing your face, there's so much dirt on your skin, like you don't even realize. So um, yeah. We'll see how this makeup's gonna last. I think I really do love my base right now. It looks really beautiful and it just looks like my skin. I mean, obviously you can say, you can tell that I put foundation on, but it looks really nice and natural as possible with a full coverage foundation. But making my skin look really even and plump and flawless, I just really like it. The concealer you get 10 mil for 24 pounds, so it's very similar to the Huda Beauty price range. I just have to see how this is going to wear throughout the day to see if I would repurchase the concealer in the right shade. I feel like my eyebrows aren't even, but let's just not pay attention to that. Anyways, it's now 10.40. I'm going to wear this for a few hours and I'm going to see how this is held up. I'm going to be running some errands today, so we'll see how this is going to hold up even outside. It's quite cold. Anyways, I'll stop rambling and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. It's now 5.17. Oh my goodness. My sound... I just realised when I was editing the first bit of the video that the sound was a bit off. Now it must be a bit better, okay? Um, but anyways, let's just talk about the foundation. I oh know my hair's a mess. Okay, I do like the foundation, like I feel really nice in it, but uh, it gave me major smile lines. Um, you guys know I really have troubles with that. Um, but I have been wearing it for a good like six hours, six to seven hours, and I think everywhere else it held up really well. It actually stayed on my nose as well, but yeah, the smile lines is major, like, but I did put a lot around my mouth, more than what I usually put around my mouth, so maybe that's why. Foundations like my Bare Minerals Bare Pro, my Bare Minerals um, Bare Skin Foundation, my Huda Beauty Foundation, Fenty, all those like don't give me smile lines. Um, but this one is such a beautiful foundation, but it did get, give me smile lines. My sister did say like it accentuates my butt little bumps more than usual, so that's her feedback on it. Um, but yeah, I have to say it definitely oxidized, it gives... Um, me smile lines um but apart from that i don't see anything wrong with it um like my it made my skin look so beautiful and it's like stayed on so well now the concealer to be honest this concealer stayed on pretty well it's just not light enough so i might actually get a lighter one it, do, it for 24 pounds i think it's reasonably priced for a high-end concealer and you get 10 mil in it it's just standard amount and i actually really like the formula how easy it was blending the coverage it was giving so um and it, it doesn't even increase on me so i really do like the concealer and the doe for applicator is definitely something different um it comes in this really compact small packaging so yeah i definitely give this one a thumbs up now the foundation i'm a bit torn because i feel like will i wear it again yes i might get a lighter shade as well because see now it's like i want to go out and buy a lighter shade because it does oxidize and it, it's a bit more orangey for me when it does that but when i apply it it's perfect so i i like the foundation to the point where i want to buy a lighter one and use this so i feel like not every product is perfect um but then again, you have to consider the price. I feel like for £38, it has to be a really good foundation. And Fenty Beauty Pro Filter is like £26 and that foundation is so beautiful. Um, and it's just perfect. Whilst this is £38 and it's giving me major smile lines, I just, I don't know how I feel about that. But I still want to go get the lighter shade and use this because... I, f I like the way my skin looked today, you know? It's tough. Maybe I should try baking around my smile lines because I did not do that today. I feel like when I get major smile lines like this, it really ages me. I really don't. It like, make, makes me look like, like I have saggy skin or something. I don't know. Let me put the brightness down.
think I would rate this foundation a good 7 out of 10. I really love the shade, I love the coverage, I love how easy it is to blend. The shade range is beautiful, the packaging is so compact and convenient. I think it's just the price and the smile line issue and the oxidization which you have to take into consideration. I feel like if you want to go get a colour match, um, maybe take a pot with you and try it and see how it works for you and go in daylight and see. Because when I go in daylight it looks fine but I wish it was a little bit more less like warm, like orangey because it did oxidise and I see like a line on my neck. And, and to me personally I am going to go buy a, a um, lighter one to just mix it. I just feel like, feel like for every day it's just a beautiful lightweight foundation which just makes your skin look so good. And I have been wearing this for 6 hours. So I guess okay there's smile lines. I'm just going to wear less of it I think and try it like that. I will update the info box and see how and let you guys know how I'm getting on with it, with it but yeah I think it's a good 7 out of 10. It's got good shade range guys and a lot of people have said that it's really good but I think everywhere else on my face it just looks so nice apart from my smile line so I think that's the downside for me. So yeah those are my thoughts on the Powerplay foundation and concealer from Cover FX. Um, it's my first time using this stuff and yeah I really like it everywhere like my foundation has not budged anywhere not even on my nose like normally on my nose it's like completely gone but it's still there. I really do like the um, the um setting spray because it kind of gave like this dewy like look after like it made everything melt together so I really did like it for that so yeah this is going in my makeup bag I really like that one let me know what you guys think um after seeing up the like the close-up I think I really like it to be honest it's weird I'm so torn I've tried so many products um it's kind of like I know when something makes my skin look nicer than you know other foundations but if it's a little thing like smile lines I can always touch up throughout the day like um, like with some powder or just with a brush and just like blend it. You can just always do that. But yeah, for £38 you shouldn't need to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. I hope you found this review helpful. Give it a big like if you did find it helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!